<laughs> I couldn't think of how to start it. So I was like, you know what? We're going to go with, we'll go with a violet quote. Why the fuck not? French noises. <laughs> Very that. Uh, bonjour et bienvenue à la carte. Le podcast actuellement son nom. Où l'été est chaud et nous sommes prêts à renverser. Je suis Logan, just a gay. And uh, that's probably the best I've ever spoken in French. We're going to be real honest here. Um, <laughs> oh, and I have water, and I'm also drinking a kombucha, but it's like not really good. But I'm drinking it. And as the French poet Barbara Prevy once famously said, voila. <laughs> voila. Here smoking a candy cigarette because I'm not really French. I'm Eris Lenby, your punk rock hairy Mary fairy, all the way from York, which is just a couple miles north of France, so I'm probably the most qualified to talk about this. I was going to say, much closer to France than I am, so... <laughs> I passed through France once, it was... I stopped at a gas station in France, oh, so... Good. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And we're here, Drag Race France. Hello. It's about damn time, in the words of uh, poet laureate Lizzo. Um, I know. I thought Drag Race France was probably one we would get much sooner. Later I mean, in the year? No, I definitely I definitely thought the same thing. No, I mean, uh, like, in terms of... We got Thailand before everywhere else. I thought Drag Race France would be down the pipe T, by 2019. I, I, I kind of agree with you. Um, I'm very happy we're finally getting it. Now that we're getting like five or six new franchises this year alone. Um, along with the Philippines and the Sweden and the Belgium and all of those. When are we getting Brazil? I know they have their own like drag based show, but like when are we getting Brazil? Hosted by Greg Queen. Fuck no. Hosted by Pablo Vitar. And co-hosted by Greg Queen. Drag Queen can be the Michelle Visage of Drag Race Brazil. See, I'd love that. Why do we not have any two Drag Queen panels apart from occasionally Drag Race Espana? Right? Like, uh, I don't know. But regardless, Drag Race France is here. We are talking about it. We have 10 French queens. And uh, I'm really excited for this season. The trailer that we got, I can't show it because copyright. But like, y'all... I cannot wait for this season. Like, it looks so good. I agree. And I'm excited. The workroom? Can we talk about the workroom? I don't have any images because I didn't pull it, but like, ah. Uh, the Eiffel Tower over the entrance. I mean, cliche, I love that Canada had. Correct. Yeah. I love that Canada had the clover. I love that. Was it the, clover? What? It's not clover. It's maple leaf. The maple leaf. Thank you. When, when are we getting Drag Race everything. Island with um, a clover over the door? Hosted Please. by Blue Hydrangea. But, um, hosted, by, hosted by Blue Hydrangea, and the Michelle Visage of the panel is Leslie Roy. And um, Drag Race Holland had the windmill in their, yep. uh, their room. You know what I mean. Workroom, there we go. Down, down Under had something... Down oh, it was like had... the background. It was like the background. Yeah. It was like the... the um... Drag Race Down Under would be much better with a larger workroom. I really hope for season two they get a larger workroom. I guess we'll see probably in a few months. We will see. So, um, I do want to start, though, with our judging panel because... And mostly, specifically, because... Uh, Nikki Doll. Oh, Nikki Doll. Sorry. Nikki Doll. We did not know whether Nikki was going to be the host, whether she was going to be a judge. We kind of all figured 
she would be involved in some way as she's the only French queen to be on mm. the show at this point. Um, but we did find out that Nikki is hosting. And she looks and a, damn good doing it from that trailer. She looks amazing. And I know a lot of people gave her shit because obviously her Drag Race run was not great. Let's be honest. It was not great. And the the only other concept of contestant turned host that we have so far is Brooke, who was a runner-up. Who honestly could have won her season. Who definitely had a shot at winning. I honestly, and I, I've said this since season 12, and I will say it again and again, I think if Nikki Dahl was on any other season of Drag Race, I think she would have gone a lot further. Season it's 12 just was... that season 12 was the shit. Yeah. Certainly um, the last season of the US that I really enjoyed. I enjoyed 14 a lot, but I know you haven't watched 14. Nah, I've kind of been in and out of it. 14 was a really good season for me. But, but yes, so Nikki Doll. I mean, I going... didn't watch, but oh, I threw my cup away. Jasmine yeah. Kennedy. Jasmine Kennedy. Five trans films, period. Um, so, yes, Nikki Doll will be the host of Drag Race France. And on the judging panel with her is a uh, stylist to the French stars, Daphne Burke, who I believe to be fabulous. I think I follow her on Instagram now because she's a host and she seems fabulous. And someone that I've actually followed for a long time, and that's Kitty Smile, who is one of the premier names in the French ballroom scene. And be, I, I sincerely appreciate Drag Race finally acknowledging the ballroom scene in the way that it should be. Yeah. Because we get the nods every now and then, but we never got the full acknowledgement. It's really like, been like, they stole the word ball, like the ball. And like, we've seen really two A voting challenge things. in season one. And then yeah. uh, Tamisha Mann having a very important conversation about ballroom culture yeah. on season 13. Sure. I mean, we've only seen two true ball queens on the show being one of my favorite queens of all time, Mariah Paris Balenciaga, as well as Aja La Beja. Um, and technically also now Olivia as Liv Lux Miyake. And Liv Lux Miyake Mugler, yes. Um, adopted by the house of Miyake Mugler. That's kind of fierce. Like, I mm. love that for her. I don't love Liv, but good for you, girl. But that uh, face battle between her and Mariah, Mariah was hot. Oh, uh, if you have not watched the, fa I don't remember what ball it was, but it was a ball in New York and it was Drag's face and it was Mariah versus Olive, or Liv Lux. It's everything. Like, go check it out. It's everything. Like, uh, legendary reviews coming very soon. We're doing it basically after the season airs, but I have to talk about this season of legendary that's currently happening. If you know, you know. Um, but yes, very excited to see Kitty Smile. I'm hoping that we maybe then get um, some voguing challenges choreographed mm. and produced by Kitty Smile. I think that would be really, really cool to see. That was uh, one of my things about this cast is I was hoping for Shigo. Yeah. But maybe Shigo was too young at the time. So hopefully we get Shigo sometime oh, down, down the line because Shigo is possibly... The most famous French drag queen other than Nikki Doll at the moment. Yeah, I think I would agree. Um, I do want to talk about the promos. Promo Starti Mo starting Mo with Mo the promo images for the judging panel, they all look beautiful. Nikki looks fucking amazing. Nikki looks great. Kitty looks beautiful. Daphne's looks great too. Like, it's sure. giving me um oh I don't remember the name of the designer oh it's a little Keith Haring to me it is Keith Haring I wouldn't be surprised if it was directly inspired by Keith Haring honestly mm -hmm. um but yes and can we fucking talk about this promo because they stole the background from the Drag Race Italia season one promo and just yes. made it better literally literally like. 
Oh, and we're still, kinda, I still think it's amazing. We're, we're kind of cutting it off. And I think they outdid, bit, like, they outdid Italia a little bit. But I mean, we'll I get into the individual agree. looks. Yes, I, I think this is definitely one of my favorite promo images. As far as whole cast is concerned, I think they all look beautiful. Um, but yeah, shall we dive into the queens? We oui. fab. So we're gonna talk about the promo images first, and then because we don't really have a meet the queens, at least at the time that we're filming this, I don't know if there's gonna be one sometimes that comes out later. But um, we're just gonna do after we go through all the promo images, we're just gonna talk go through their uh, their Instagrams and see see some looks, see some things that hopefully gag us. Um, and so let's dive in season one, Drag Race France. And first up in alphabetical order is Ellipse twenty six from Bordeaux. She is actually the only queen on this cast that's not from Paris. That is really fucking annoying. I'm sorry. I agree. I mean, we've definitely seen this before on season ones of Drag Race franchises. Canada did it with the Toronto girls. Espana did it with the um, with the Madrid girls. Drag Race UK um, is prolific for doing it with the London girls. And probably still will on season there four. There is drag outside of London in the UK. And I'm yes. not going to lie, it's much better. Oh, I didn't okay. mean to make that joke, but I did. Not the joke. Anyway. I also really appreciate, and this goes for all of the, the promo images that we have, the backgrounds actually color match, which I really appreciate. Um, I think this is an interesting look. And I think I like it. I love the coat. I think the coat is gorgeous. I think it yes. goes really well with a nude boot. Yes. If I could be really nitpicky, I would love like a big drag ponytail, if you know what I mean. So it was like big yes. ponytail in the front and then maybe something on the top that goes to the side. Um, sure. I did a gig on Saturday with Robin Risk, who had the kind of wig that I'm describing, but she had it yeah. in a lovely brown color. Ooh. Yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah, I love this image from Ellipse. Um, the pose is very powerful for me. Um... The face looks beautiful. You can't really see it in this photo because it's it's a little smaller. But um, I love the I love this color. This is one of my favorite colors. Like this like muted mm. lime green almost because it's not like a fluorescent, but it's very like it's giving kombucha. Not really. I don't know anything about kombucha. Kombucha is like a well. The one I'm drinking currently is pink because it's raspberry and hibiscus, but like. No, it's giving, it's a, like a chartreuse without being like Aggressive. demanding. Yeah, the the way that chartreuse is, but I think this is a really lovely look from Ellipse. And I, I agree, the nude boot is definitely the right choice. I love the minimal makeup. I think I would have maybe loved a different belt, like a nude belt. I was gonna say maybe a nude belt or All like a white or like. Or, like, a, a white belt, honestly, to match the hair, I don't think would have been. Or maybe, because there's gold accents, I think, in the boot somewhere. It might be the lighting of this photo. But a gold belt, maybe. Mm -hmm. But, or if you're going to do the green belt, go all monochromatic and do green hair. Yeah. I don't know. I, I really like this, though. I think she looks great. So, yeah. good on you, gal. Next up is Cam Hugh, 23 from Paris. And I didn't know Ahura was competing on Drag Race France, but good for you, gal. Oh my god. Welcome back to the stage, Sagittaria. The bitch looks like literally Sagittaria, Ahura, and Blue Hydrangea combined. It's... I can't wait to see more of her because I'm sure she's probably got a more independent aesthetic yes. than what we get from Justice Picture. So we'll probably see that on Instagram. What I will say is this is a really out there silhouette, very different from what we traditionally see for promos. Yes. I think this specific shade of teal and cyan has been done to death for Drag Race promos. Yes. Mostly because we frequently have pastels as a theme. Yeah. I mean, Ahura's done it, Blue Hydrangea's done it, I'm pretty sure Sagittarius done it. I'm pretty sure Sagittarius, Aquarius I believe, done it. was white. 
I don't well, remember. fuck my color blindness. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, I love the hair because I still love this sculptural moment we're having in drag hair at the minute. And I mm. think the silhouette is perfect in a way because it's very different from what we traditionally see. And I love sort of like the cupcake skirt with the corset. I think if I could change anything, I wish the corset and the bustier were all one piece. I don't think she needed this sliver of skin. I agree with you. Because it takes it away from how classically elegant it is. But other than that, I think she looks lovely. I agree. This is definitely a very, very strong look from Cam. Like you said, I'm very excited to see what else she has. Because right now, it's just giving... It's giving me a horror. And that's not a bad thing, because obviously Sagittaria did a really good job on Espana season one, and she was very, very clearly inspired by Aquarius. So I'm uh, I'm interested to see what Cam has. I believe they are also trans, I believe. I think we have a oh. couple of... I think we have a couple of trans queens on this season. If I'm wrong, I'm so sorry. Um, we'll see. We'll look on what Instagram I will say then. is, because Aquarius was on Drag Race season 10 it has now been that long since Aquarius has been on drag race that there is now a generation of drag queens who are reaching the polished era of their drag who yep. started drag probably because of Aquarius. i mean hell or i probably changed started their makeup drag so yeah or yeah. changed their makeup so significantly because of what Aquarius did yeah i started drag because of seeing asia on season nine yeah so it, wouldn't, it wouldn't it wouldn't shock me that we're now seeing people getting on drag race who are living in the age of aquaria so to speak yeah yeah i mean we've kind of seen this the trends of drag race come through i mean obviously i don't like her but the first one to do it really was raven raven revolutionized the way that drag race queens did their makeup and as much as i dislike her mm. I, I i have to give her her flowers in that regard um but I think aquaria is definitely the next version of that and i honestly think ahora is going to be the next version of that um, I think Ahura and Tace, both. Tace I would be um, happy about. Yeah, I think Naomi Smalls also has a really big impact in the way yeah. that I mean, I, do their I would love to talk more about this, but obviously we need to focus on the Queens yeah. of Dragon's Friends. But I will say, Aja literally changed so much about the way people do drag. Because yes. for those years after season nine, all we saw was pastel or neon colored wigs in those Marcel waves. Yep. And like, <laughs> Yeah, Aja really changed and influenced a lot of drag just from that promo. I remember yeah. when season nine first came out, everyone was predicting Aja as a front runner. Like it Literally. was, we were living in the age of Aja. Every spoiler list had Aja and Pheromone on it, and mm. they were all wrong. <laughs> but oh, oh, highlighter Vegas. Oh, <sighs> Gia Gun is a bitch. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Let's move on to La Big Bertha. Okay, so I'm Ooh. obsessed. I'm obsessed. 36 from Paris. She is actually the oldest queen on the season, which I kind of hate. I'm going to be yeah, honest. Yeah, too young to be the oldest. I think, I mean, I love this outfit. Yes. I mean, I love the epaulette. I love the sleeve. I love the exposed panier. I think my only thing is I wish there was more ruching on the skirt so it created more of a figure on the left side. I also I don't think she needed the gloves. I think she should have just gone with the same nail she has and like yeah. same sort of jewelry story. Yeah. And if I was going to be really nitpicky, uh, not a fan of the shoes. And I think she sh could have maybe painted her beard to match her wig a little. But, I, I mean, you don't have to do that. Yeah, I think for me, honestly, lose the exposed panier. Or the exposed, um... The thing. The skirt. Really? Because that's my favourite part about it, actually. I think, you, I think you could lose all of that. And just, it's a short dress. And the focus point is this. I would have loved, if, if you're going to do that, I would have loved the shoulder detail to be even bigger. Yeah. And I think that would have been a very, very lovely focal point. I don't dislike it the way that it is. Um, but I I love this color on her. I think the wig, the wig is a little flat for me. Um, mm. I like Hold the exposed up. bra. Hmm. You're big, Bertha. 
you're big. Perfect. If you know that reference, we can be best friends. Come. Come. All of them. Come. Um, I was giving you come, honey. <laughs> yes. Honey, oh. I was giving you come, honey, honey, honey. <laughs> yes, ma'am, honey. Oh, God, I love. I, I love Alexis Auntie Chan. Darby and Chan on this, on this I, podcast. I need immediately. one of them. I need one of them on Drag Race. I don't care who it is at this point. I was gonna say I need them on the pod, but Drag Race is even better. Oh, that would be fierce as hell. I remember when uh, Chan quit. The, well, she said she was taking a step back from my Mitchell, and I was like, oh, "She's gonna be in Drag Race, literally." And she's like, "No, she's booked and blessed." <laughs> she's like, "No, bitch, I'm busy." Literally, bitch, I'm busy. Anyway, the Big Bertha looks great. It's it's a toot. <laughs> The other two were as well, for reference. The other two were also a two. Yeah. I like them both. I like everybody so far. So, La Brioche? La Brioche? La Brioche? Okay, so I adore this. Yeah. I think the color story is gorgeous. It reminds me of these, like, split pot yogurts I used to get when I was, like, seven. I know exactly what you're talking about. Wait. I know exactly what you're talking about. We had a version of those. Yep. Yeah. Her, the hair is gorgeous. Her makeup is very stylized and different from what everyone else is currently doing, which yes. I think is a big up. Um, the corsetry is amazing. Her boobs look fantastic. I think yes. maybe she could have done with gloves or maybe like a bigger nail because I can't really see what's going on with her hands. I don't know. She just needed something in like the wrist area, like a bracelet or something. But other than that, like I've got no points about this. This is fucking gorgeous. Yeah, I... This is I'll I'll pull up the um the close up photos when we go to Instagram just so you can see everybody's close ups. But I completely agree with you. The makeup is very different, and I think the biggest thing is this very rounded halo arc. eye. Well, the halo eye, but then the also couple that with the rounded, thin, high arched brow, which you cannot mm -hmm. see in this photo. But this is beautiful for me. Yeah. I am ready for Marie Antoinette drag looks to die with Drag Race fans. I will accept them on this program because it makes the most sense. However, after this season, I will not accept any more Marie Antoinette inspired looks. Oops. Because it's been, it, that is the trope that has been beaten to death the most. Easily. But I think La Brioche. I hope we're saying that right. We'll we'll find out. Because brioche is spelled the brioche the bread is spelled with one e and it does it's not the accented e. Yeah, because it's just like brioche, but then brioche. Yeah, brioche makes sense. Uh, and I love that name. Yeah, it's called yeah. yes. But yes, we're gonna I'm very get excited. we're gonna get to watch the series and we're gonna find out it's pronounced Bryony. <laughs> not Bryony. I hate you. I hate you. I wish I knew how to quit you. Not that. La Grande Dame, 23, also from Paris. Okay. She's gorgeous. I detest this outfit. I don't... I, I don't know if I like it or not. It's... It sticks out really weirdly compared to everyone. The black pump doesn't really go with it. This I disagree. And, I, I think it actually does. The skirt and the top, it looks like it's made out of like Arby's or some kind of like craft thing you would see advertised I, for children in the noughties. I think that's the point though. But I no, I don't like it. I really no. oh. I also think the color story is really atrocious. Uh-huh. Like there's just a lot of clashing colours, and you can do clashing patterns and make it look gorgeous. I don't think this is the case. However, I will say her face, like not probably not even just her makeup, but just like her face out of mug. Uh-huh. Gorgeous. Like devastatingly I, beautiful. I'm gonna pull up because I have the the Instagram post pulled up. I just wanna like I'm I'm gonna pull up the rest of them later, but like look at how fucking good she looks there. Like her face. Yeah. Oh, I... see, now I'm seeing this knitting on the dress and I hate uh -huh. it even more. Really? See, I really like this like knitted 
it's giving me like perler beads moment i really like it it's not for me that's valid for sure but i really really like what she's doing here i love i I love the straight um the bone straight yeah wig because not a lot of people can do straight like bone straight hair and make it look good i'm not one of those people unfortunately but it looks devastatingly good on her i agree absolutely agree so la cajena 29 also from paris also i think the i think the promo theme was pastel because everybody seems to be in a pastel except yeah, for la grande dame um which is which is why i didn't like her outfit mostly what i will fair. say about la cajena that made it, i thought that sounded like i said the macarena just then Oh, um, the Macarena. I mean, she's clearly a Taurus. The hand I hope she is. The hand placement is a little odd because it looks like she's completely naked under the tights. Yeah. And I know it, this picture probably wasn't her choice. She's got, like, very arched, angular eyebrows. She looks pissed off, which I kind of love. Uh-huh. I like the shade of green. I don't understand. I want to understand why the bull horns. I want to know if that's a thing she does. Because I think if you yeah. got rid of the bull horns and maybe just put a fascinator on or like just the ponytail, it probably would look better. Yeah. I I don't know. There's something off about the outfit. I mean, I think it's beautiful, but I don't know what it is. Maybe you can clarify or help me figure out. I honestly, I don't have any context for the look. Because um, I feel like there's probably a reason she has bull horns, right? I agree. I believe... She's of Spanish descent, which would explain it. Um, oh, there's another one for Drag Race, España versus the world. I know, right? Um, I'm going to look at her Instagram really quick before we pull it up here, because I feel like there is definitely a reason. She's actually not a Taurus, fun fact. She's a Virgo. Oh, I'm a Virgo rising. Yeah, I'm not sure why the horn. But I will say on her Instagram, when she posted this image, she has the caption available in French, English, and Spanish. So I'm going to go ahead with my theory and say that she is of Spanish descent, which in a way could explain you know sort of melding this like french style inspiration meets sort of the black hair and the horns um it doesn't really go together but i don't dislike it i love this color i love the ankle detail on the pant Mm -hmm. um i really really like the way it flares out there i love the shoe the mug is great. We'll, we'll get, we'll the get detailing on the chest piece, because I've got it up on Instagram as well now, Everything. is really gorgeous. Everything. Yeah, and a lot of the close-up images that I'll show on Instagram later give like a lot of the detail for the busts. But yeah, I, I'm i a big fan of this. This is definitely a good look for me. No one's looked bad yet. I'm kind of concerned. A, that's a fear. Let's move on to Lolita Banana. We don't know her age, though I saw someone on Reddit say she's potentially 33, but I'm not sure of that, so don't quote me on that. Also from Paris. Oh. This is a lot. Yeah, it's a bit, it's an odd one, I would say. I like it, though. I mean, the proportionizing is gorgeous. Her body looks beautiful. But yeah, it's it's this like asymmetrical fringed sleeve with the like garters to the really high boot that kind of flares out in like a palazzo style almost. It's very different from what everyone else has done. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I like it. I do too. I think she looks gorgeous. I think maybe the hair... Oh, yeah. Because I'm looking at the photo on the, like, the upper, from the chest up on Instagram. 
the curl pattern could be a, maybe a bit tighter because it's very loose and a bit all over the place. Yeah. So I think she could have done something else for the hair. I will say she has a very beautiful mug. Yeah, the, the, nobody's mug on this season, honestly, is bad. Like they all. She look... has some very lovely earrings. Yes, I love the earring. But yeah, I mean, I'm interested to see what Lolita has to bring. Um, She's I appreciate. I also appreciate that there are multiple uh, people on this season that aren't white. Mm -hmm. Like, I actually really appreciate that because I thought we were going to get an all white cast. I'm going to be honest. But yes, Lolita looks great. Good for you, gal. Congrats. Welcome to Drag Race. Welcome to Dracula, fuckers. I hate you. <laughs> Lova la Diva, 32, to nobody's surprise, also from Paris. This is one of my favorite promo images for any drag race season ever. It's the expression. It's just the... It's the expression. It's the movement of the gown, the color, the hair, the mug... I am obsessed with this bitch. And I love that, like, you wouldn't get this on my promo, but she seems to do drag that's really across the board. Like, on her yeah. Instagram, there's a lot of, like, horror drag as well, which is very, like... Not you already yeah. looking at the Instagrams. We're looking at it together later. Anyway. I know, but I'm trying to, like, make sure I have a photo where I can see them from the neck up. Sure. Because I'm, like, squinting to see this. I will say I love that this outfit is more simple. I like yes. it better in this picture than I do from the neck up ones because this does it more justice. Yes. I bet this thing has gorgeous movement. I think oh this peachy God. tone looks gorgeous on her as well. Mixed with I'm this like coral moment in the gown yeah. too. I'm willing to bet she's a camp queen. Willing I would to put bet money on it. Good money. I would bet good money. So I'm automatically gonna root for her if she's not problematic. So that's honestly where I'm Slay. But uh, yeah, she looks fucking phenomenal. I'm going to remember this promo for a very long time. Mm. Like, If I was going to critique anything, it's... I don't like the hair, but... Oh, okay. I think it's I just... It could be it could do with being either a lighter shade of blonde. Or a dark Because I don't like this honey, honey yeah. brown blonde, if you know what I mean. And that's coming from someone who grew up honey brown blonde. Sure. I think I think if it was a darker wig to accent her features, I think that maybe would have been a little bit better for me. Yeah. Or a wig in like a peach color, like an unnatural color. Yes. Either the peach or the coral. Honestly, I would have loved like a coral, like match the wig to the dress. I'm yeah. here for it. But Slay. Work Lova. Bitch Paloma. Bitch Paloma. It's Bitch Paloma. Paloma. And I've got good faith in her. This um, bitch is everything. The fucking, this, like, the hair into the this, like, the fucking ship. And, like, and it's, I too, have, it's, it's a broken ship. It's crazy. And like, the, I love anything with like a dramatic sleeve. Like, I'm a sucker for a dramatic sleeve. This is gorge. This is also one of the best promo images I've ever seen. Yeah, this will stick with me for a really long time. I, I love the, the wrist detail, the flaring out. The only thing I will say is I wish there was a little bit more something going on on the bottom. And I maybe also... like little bows. On the top of the stockings. I also would have loved a different stocking because from here it looks gray. Yeah. And I don't like that. It looks stained. I will but... say I also love the texture of the hair. Yes. Because it's like crimped almost. It places. is, yeah. Yeah. It's like a crimped. I'll, I'll pull up the close up later, but I'm very excited to see what Paloma is going to bring. And finally for the cast is Soie de Muse, 30 from Paris. This is everything. I fuck Pants. with this. Pants? For the promo? I'm here for it. 
I love I love the the top. I love the coat. I love the hair, the pants, the color story. This is gonna be my bitch this season. I can already tell. Like this is gonna I be my. I love this bitch. like tiny piece covering her chest as well. Yes, like the tiny little rectangle. And it's layered too. You can't really see it in this. And I think it's actually like there's a chain that connects it because she's got a chain around her neck. And then I think it clips into this top part. Like I'm, I'm obsessed. I, if I could change anything, I'm. I don't know if it's just this angle. I wish the pants flared out just a little bit more. So they were more of a trumpet shape rather than a trunk shape. Yeah. Because it becomes kind of tight in sort of like the leg region right at the bottom. Yeah. Specifically on her... Which direction is this? Left. On what? On the left side of the image. Yeah. If you get what I mean. I wish it just looked a bit wider. But maybe it's just a photo thing. I think it's the fabric. Yeah. Because it looks like a thicker fabric. And I think that's honestly what the issue is. Because I would have loved, honestly, take this pant design, flare it out on the bottom to like a true palazzo pant, and make it in like a like um like a silk in this color. Like that would have been fierce. But I like it still. This like periwinkle color. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think it's really good. But all right, Eris, what's your favorite promo look? Ooh. There's a lot to choose from here. Do you want to do you want a refresher? I'm going to go with Paloma. Okay. I think Paloma's definitely up there for me. I think I'm going to go with La Brioche. Oh, yeah. Actually, There's yeah, a lot remember. of good- no, don't change your mind. mind. No, but Libra Shea was amazing. Paloma deserves some time. A lot of these promos are good, y'all. Yeah. Like, I didn't dislike anyone's promo. The and only one I disliked rare. was La Grand Dame. Yeah. But, um, but let's check out these social media. Obbies for spring. Groundbreaking. Um, and of course, I have up Soi de Muse. Cause that fucking mug, like I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I love a girl with resting bitch face. Same, same, and the the one finger, the close up shot is really really good for this. Actually, now that I'm seeing the close up uh, this close, I think this week could have done with baby hairs. I like bigger baby hairs. I think I agree with you, but Other I still like that, it. Gorgeous. I still like it. Um, she's from Saint Denis as well. Um, they listed a bunch of people's um, hometowns as well because everybody's from Paris um, or lives in Paris. So Claremont Ferrand for Paloma. And I love the close up of this because you can kind of see um, ship you can see that. Apart. Yeah, you can see the ship falling apart, the hair detail. I also love the pattern of this coat. Mm, now that I'm gorgeous. seeing it up close, I like it a lot more. Um, let's see. I'm hoping she sewed that. Yes. So, uh, Lova La Diva, I believe it's from Toulouse. The mug is right. Like, she, it's very she, classical. Yes. In a way that I love. Um, old school. Very old school, and that needs to be represented in in these in the modern day of, of I want more race. old school UK drag queens on drag race. I'm sorry. We don't yeah. get enough of the rope ropey old birds in tinsel wigs. Specifically like seaside drag in the UK is always very classical. Well you can't cast a, you can't cast a queen from Brighton because she'll go home first. Well let's get one from Scarborough. Sure. I'm Lady game. Byron, where are you? Sure. <laughs> let's see. Um La, uh, Lolita Banana. Hot. La, someone's saying in the in the replies Latina Power, so that answers that. Um, the mug is everything. We probably shouldn't have gotten that from like the um from the name, like Lolita. Yeah, I, I kind of figured, but 
I just don't want to assume. But let's yeah, see. Yeah. Cam Hugh. Oh, she's got a stan already. Oh, good. <laughs> good. Her Love makeup is really good. Really clean. Her makeup is so good. It's it's very blue hydrangea now that I'm seeing the close up. Yeah. Like it's it's very the blue. very open crease. Yep. Yep. I think I think in, in a few years' time, I think we're gonna see truly the impact of blue hydrangea on drag race as well. That's a conversation I'd love to have. It's just like a round table about like that kind of stuff. I really like that idea. So that might be coming down the pipeline. Who knows? From Raina Berbere. I'm going to Google what that is. Please do. Uh, Kahena, she looks stunning. The arched brow, I love. Yeah, her brow is like really severe. I and, enjoy that. And this is where you were talking about the, the bustier detail. It's kind yeah, of it's hidden by this right arm moment, but I love. It looks much better in this picture. I agree. So Reina's Berberes is not showing up. I don't know. Not that. Let's try that again. See, this is where I'm talking about La Grande Dame. From Nice. Uh, love. Love, love, love. We'll move on because I know you don't like it, but... I'm just... Oh, I, I was just trying to find Rain and Rain, 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 Rain is Barbara's. Much appreciated. Fucking but, ellipse. I'm sorry. Yeah, this looks much better in person. That looks like it's like made of an expensive fabric. Yeah, it's expensive. Like, for sure, for sure. The makeup as well... Does she... I don't... I can't tell if it's lighting or if it's jewels or something. It looks like she almost has, like, a halo brow. Yeah. I'm willing to say she no... probably highlighted her brow bone. Probably. Like, there's no highlight, or there's no brow there, but, like, I love the open wing. That's so cool. Wait, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. I, re I really like that. La Brioche. See, her from... makeup's just really different from everyone else. Like, no one yeah. really does downturned eyeliner these days. And I love it. The downturned eye. Um, eyeliner with the halo eye with the curved arch brow. It's very Marie Antoinette and I don't hate it. Um, all I can really find about Rain Berber is, yeah. is something to do with the Berber people. So Yeah, that... so there there were a lot of things talking about her being a of the Berber people, which I honestly don't know a lot. Neither, but I am seeing something about la, someone called La Cajena from the Berber people. So yeah, maybe so, her name is a reference to that, probably. So Berbers are an ethnic group, according to Google, are an ethnic group indigenous to North Africa, specifically Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, and Libya, and to a lesser extent, Mauritania, Northern Mali, and Northern Niger. Um, have spoken Berber languages, which are a branch of the Afro-Asiatic language family. That does make sense because there is a lot of French speaking in Northern Africa specifically. Yes. Because of colonialism, obviously. Yeah, I love that. I'm excited to see her, to hear about her, her culture then. I'm really, really excited yeah. for that. I'm hoping it's a lot like Hota when we got to see yes. uh, learn more about like Romani people from Hota. I hope it's to very... clarify Hota Karahota of Drag Race Espana for those of you who don't watch. I was gonna say like Hota Karahota from Drag Race Espana. I think um, Jojo Zaho from Drag Race Down Under. Hopefully she doesn't go home early because mm -hmm. I like Drag Race. Is, uh, not look, Cherry Valentine a little bit. Yes. I mean, we only really got like a slight insight to it, but yeah. La Big Bertha up close. I love the 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 PC bottom lash. Mm. Um, I love the fabric that the bustier is made out of as well. Yeah, it looks like a pleather, and I love that. Expensive drag. Yeah, I know you didn't like the wig, but I kind of like the wig this close. No, I liked I liked the wig. You wanted it bigger though, didn't you? I did. I wanted just a little bit of a bump in the top, but that's just me being nitpicky. Yeah, yeah. But I like the wig. It's it's like a play on the Marcel, which I is done to death, but I like this. Yeah, thank you, Aja. Yeah. And there's the promo image again. So 
I guess let's just dive into some social medias. Let's look at Lubbock Bertha. Cute little cocktail tall. number. Yeah, tall. Yep, the bitch is tall. Kiss my boob. We love. This is fierce. I love the probably like the wig stop ponytail. Yes, I I definitely agree. The chunky stem ponytail with the bang. Yeah. Let's see. What I see, she's apparently more of a burlesque queen. Yeah, I'm seeing burlesque cabaret. Cabaret. I'm seeing. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of cabaret. Which doesn't doesn't surprise me because France. Not us both saying the same thing. (laughs) Oh god. That red moment above, above. Yes. Oh, that's fierce. That's gorge. Magnesium. Of course, she has. A, of course, she's represented by an agency now, right makes before. Sense. Yeah, makes sense for sure. Yeah, where she's so French. I love that. I know. I love. I'm seeing. We're seeing a lot of red hair. A red wig and a silver dress. I don't think. I don't know how to say that in French, but if I could, I would. Um. Oh, I don't remember wig in French. Just say what hair. is. This. Oh. This is that. everything. Wow. Not I hashtag Zumba. Not hashtag Zumba. <laughs> hashtag Girl, Zumba. What is Not her? What, what's her bio say? Drag lesque mm-hmm. and food addict. Very true. Work diva. I'm excited Roughly. for her. Let's see. I'm willing to bet the first episode is a talent show as well from what we see in the trailer. It is. Um, yeah, I have I have some information about the first episode once we go through the socials a bit. But let's go La Brioche. La Brioche. La plus belle. Oh, she's trans. Yeah, she is trans, yep. Yeah. Oh, Queen La Singer up. and voice actress. <gasps> oh. And see, I need to see her and Jerishi pop off on a track together. Right. It looks like she's also a cabaret girl. This look, this is everything. Her makeup is good. Makeup oh, is see, so... Jerishi. Jerishi. Yes, Jerishi. Big drag queen, trans woman, club kid. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I'm here for this. Oh, bitch. Drag Dude. monster. Oh, wow. And it's from December, so you know she wasn't just doing this for Halloween. Well, it does say Drag Race France casting, but... Well, congrats, girl. You got on. Yeah, it looks like she does some horror stuff, too. I'm interested. Wow, I'm interested. We're getting really far back here now, I can tell. Yeah. Her makeup has changed a lot in the past few years, but oh, I'm so glad we've got a trans woman on the season. At least one. I think we might have another. Possibly. Let's look at her lips. Drag queer. Bordeaux, France. Congratulations on being leading. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, scroll up. Out of drag on the story. Will it let me click on it? It won't let me click on it. Okay, well, she's really hot. Oh, nope, there we go. Nice eyeballs. Oh. No. Oh. Okay. Cute. I'm here for it. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Work, Diva. But Bordeaux, you know, that's a place. This is everything. Very abstract entity. Yeah. Editorial beauty. This. So she's tagging makeup artist, club kid. So I mean, we're gonna we're gonna know her for for the makeup. I'm willing to bet she's a fashion girly. Probably. She's probably what Marina tried to sell herself as. Uh, yeah. From Drag Race España. I agree with that. I'm still on the Marina hate <laughs> hate race. Sure. The lips looks good. I'm excited. <gasps> Ooh, that Bowie look. The Bowie looks good. <laughs> Oh, Cruella. Yeah. It's Cruella inspired. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, I love. This is the one I saw. Yeah. I love a monster. Yeah. Same. That's it looks like we're bank gonna... robbers. This. Crazy girl. Crazy. I love. I'm here for it. I'm excited. I'm Wait, glad we decided. With the beard below, I need to know if... Oh, oh. sorry. Well, I missed it now, but there was a post that looked like it was her and Big Bertha. Oh, I mean, I feel like a lot of the Paris girls probably know each other. Le Grand Dame. Le Grand Dame. LG. Represented by Metro. Parents. Metro models, yep. Oh, bitch, I'm sorry? Oh, she's hot. Yeah. And apparently doesn't do a lot of stuff herself. Uh, oh, she, does, yep. she did the hair and the makeup. And the model. She is the model. Model and talent. Model and talent, her. Oh, maybe what? she likes to do this beading thing a lot, as we just it saw. Looks like, yeah, it looks like it. She I mean, I'm tiny. here for it. Yeah, she's tiny. I think you might be right about her being trans. I did. Oh, she, I don't think she was the one I said was, I thought was trans. Was it? Oh. Because I'm seeing, like, I saw a picture where I assumed she was out of drag. But oh, this is very um, Jordan Dunn. On, it's, oh, yeah, it's, it's Gautier. It's, yeah, it's classic Gautier. Yeah. Fashion girly, model girly. I'm here for it. Work, Diva. Like, if you scroll down to that picture of her in front of the Eiffel Tower, it's in the middle somewhere. Yeah, there we this go. One. Oh, T. Yes, but it's in drag. Oh, yeah, it's in drag. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see on the show. But I'm excited. She lo looks great. Let's see. La Cajena. Hey, La Cajena. Berber Queen. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Sexual Shapeshifter. Tunis. Tunis. Oh, she's probably Tunisian. Or Tunisian then. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, yeah. Work. Yeah, Tunisia. Yeah. Work. This is everything. Ooh. Which you must Arab... it from behind before you put it on. Oh, slay. Yeah. Arab queen. There we go. Gender so fuck. At least three people of color on the season? At least. Which, on a cast of ten, sure. Not bad. Not bad. Could be better. better. Some seasons of UK. Agreed. Yeah, this is fierce. Oh, this mug. Bitch. I love the hair. Yeah. Love. She looks great. Wow. Crazy. Ooh. This one. Yeah, this. The House of Fugly. <laughs> I love that. I love. Who, I love a drag house? house name with like crazy names. Yeah. Alice Psycho, Medusa, Sativa, Sativa Blaze. Blaze. I love that. I love that. Calypso okay. Over. Calypso Overkill is actually someone that I saw was rumored originally for the. Mm -hmm. For the season, but work diva. Let's see who's Cam Hugh. Where are you? We should probably <laughs> Your French princess. Okay. A YouTuber. Okay. Oh, come on, Ariel Rack. Come on, oh, Envy. Envy. Oh. Oh, I, I love. Okay, see, this is a lot less like Blue and Ahura. Yeah, now I'm we're seeing more of her distinct style now, which is yes. good. Yeah. It's this like angular uh, eyebrow highlight because it looks like there's like a specific like downward stroke on her. I'm willing to I, bet she's got no eyebrows. I'm willing to bet she's shaved her eyebrows clean off. Oh, probably. Wow, she's gorge. Yeah, she's really fucking pretty. The arsenic? Are you kidding? 
Okay, Drag Race France is like French drag queens are coming through with the names. <sighs> I love. Okay, Hollywood. Yeah, she looks fun. This is fun. Work, Diva. See, this is difficult because now I'm thinking I don't know who's going to be going home first. I honestly, I don't have anyone. I don't have a top three yet. I don't either. I think it literally could be anyone, and that's fun. Let's see. Host at the Brunch and Queen. Oh, bitch. Wait. Go to the next post over on the left. This one? Oh, I was trying to, I thought that was someone from this cast. I thought that so. was Pinche from Dracula. Oh, could you imagine? Oh. Hot. Hello. Miss Shanna Banana. Oh, is she from yeah. the House of Banana? <laughs> the Royal Drag Family of Banana. The, the Royal Legendary House of Banana. <laughs> she has more of a drawn back style now that we're seeing more of it. Yeah. But I'm guessing these are like from her gigs, so you never know what she brought yeah. for. Yeah. Most, it looks like hot. most of it. Yeah, it looks like most of this is is uh Oh, there she is with what's her face? With um Cam Hugh. You might need to click off. I think yeah. That in Oh perfect. yeah. Yep. Yeah, I figure most of the Paris girls will know each other. Probably. So I mean, there's like what thirty two drag performers in York, and most of us know each other. I thought you were gonna say thirty two drag performers in France. <laughs> <laughs> they just have to end after season three, right? Lova la diva, performer, drag queen, international drag queen, Barcelona, Ibiza, New York. Oh, okay. An international diva. Oh, this is giving me all of the pageant that I need in It's my giving life. me uh, Miss Continental at large 2007. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh huh. It's giving um, second alternate to Miss Continental at large 2007. Word. Some of these looks, she does like, there's some like real punk stuff in there. Yeah. Like I the like clown that. thing at the top. Oh. Yeah. I literally passed by this one. Spooky girl. Halloween makeup, RuPaul's yeah. Drag Race France. Not using the RuPaul Drag Race France tag before well, it was th- even announced. Well, no, I think this was. Um... Oh, yeah, you're right. No, I think it was announced that day. Because that was what, November 17th? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the day it was announced. Hmm. Hold on. I have it up. Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa. The first season was officially announced by World of Wonder via their Instagram on November 17th, 2021. Wow. She posted it that day. That was probably the first picture they saw. And they're like, oh, okay. Crazy. Who's next? All right, we got oh, two Paloma. more. Let's, let's check out Paloma. Paloma Hugo Bardin. Hugo Bardin is um, their name out of drag, apparently. Oh. Comedy queen! Yes! Oh. And she's this fucking pretty. Oh, watch out for her. It's over. What is this? Oh, that's a texture nightmare. I could not wear that. I love this. I mean, it's gorgeous, but if I put that on, I would be like, I can feel everything. (laughs) Sure. Wow. Oh. I don't want to say she looks like Hugasio Crujente, but she's got kind uh, the of the vibes sensation. are there. The vibes are there. I'm like more they... so like her own structure. Like long. Oh yeah, they're they're in like the same drag universe because of bone structure. No, I completely agree with you there. <gasps> Bitch. Oh, penis. Oh, that that is a full penis. Why are we zooming in on it? I don't know. I didn't zoom in. It was a video. 
You're gonna have to censor that in the edit. Oh my god. No, nah, I don't care. Maybe YouTube does. Yeah. Yeah, she does a lot of photo shoots, it seems. Love. Gorgeous. Love, love, love. Yes, she's got some she's got some glamour. She's got some, some punk. I'm but excited. Comedy queen? Oh. oh. Saw the so muse. Cabaret. She has more of a. It sounds a little more simplistic, but I'm, you said she was a ballroom queen, right? I don't think so. Who was it that was a ballroom queen? Oh, the no, judge. That, that was Kitty the Smile. Judge. Yeah, that yeah, was Kitty, Kitty Smile. Smile. Yeah, her. It, it looks like she's kind of just going for woman, which I'm not mad at. Let me be your woman. <laughs> oh, hold on, that meme. In the middle there. God help us all. <laughs> oh, I love her she's... already. I love her already. <laughs> she's going to be letting them have it. Uh-huh. Work, oh, bitch. Yes, I love. Well, that's the cast of Drag Race France. Um, we do have a little bit of information about the first episode, which I'm incredibly excited about. Um, so we do know that it is a talent show. Lovely. Um, the guest judges are Iris Mitinaire, who I don't know, but I'm about to look up very, very quickly. A she French, French. She is a French model, TV host, and beauty. Oh, oh, she's Miss Universe 2016. Oh shit! Yeah, she's the most recent French uh, Miss Universe. Love that for her. Congratulations yes. on being pretty. Right, and then the other guest judge. I don't know. Have you seen who the other guest judge is? I have not. Fucking Jean-Paul Gaultier. Jean-Paul Shut Gaultier up. is a guest judge on Drag Race. Literal Jean-Paul Gaultier. The man. He is listed as having a credit for episode one. That's insane. And the runway the runway category, apparently we know it. It's Liberté, Egalité, Jean-Paul Gaultier, which I love. <gasps> Oh my god! <laughs> it 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 all feels correct. It all yeah. feels correct. Well, hey, maybe that Gautier look we saw from uh, who was it, Kahina? Yeah, maybe yeah. that's if, if if we see her walking down the runway in that look, episode one. Don't be surprised. That's all I'm gonna say. Don't be surprised. This has got me very even more excited than I already was for Drag Race France. Yeah, this is shaping up to be good. I'm hoping it's yes. good. I want it to be good. Please be good. I think it will be. I think it's got all of the pieces. I think the cast is great. A strong cast. Yes. Yeah. Um. So like, we know... You, it's, it reminds me a lot of, like, if we did... What if we had a runway that was, like, Mark Jacob themed? It's, like, crazy. Or, like, um... Christian Siriano themed, um... What's his face? Garbage Dolly. No, um, Michael Kors, like a Michael Kors runway. Like that, it feels. Very Could you nice. imagine Michael Kors as a guest judge? I would love to see it. He'd be such a bitch, but I'd be here for it. I would love to see it. Um, we also know that the season is going to be eight episodes, um, sixty minutes each. So it's going to be a top three, probably. Yeah, it'll be probably a top three situation, and it will be premiering on June twenty fifth. So we only have to wait three more weeks. And uh, now that Drag Race España is over, uh, I'm excited to get a little bit of break where we can focus specifically on All Stars, and then we can jump into jump into this new cast of gals. I, I feel like we're going to be getting a lot of seasons around that time. Yeah. As we like so, wind into November, we're probably going to have UK for Canada and Italia too, all at the same time. I think the next two were well because we know we're getting Philippines in August, and Down so Under is probably not long. Down Under is probably going to be sometime in the next couple months. Um, I'm excited. I'm ready. Let's do it. So, uh. Thank you, thank you very much for joining us for our cast assessment for Drag Race France. Oh, I didn't even pull up uh, the logo. By the way, the logo slay. is fucking slay. 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 I love the logo. But I'm looking forward to a season of spreading misinformation about France. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm excited for a season hosted by Nikki Doll. So, 
with that thank you for- we- go ahead and i see ky is in town you look queen now bring the house down yeah because style and fashion is what i bring to you <laughs> <laughs> Oh, mm. oh my God. Dickie's going to look amazing. I just Exactly. I oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Um, in the meantime, check out our coverage of Drag Race Hispania. That'll be finishing up very shortly as the finale aired today on the day that we're watching or the day we're recording this. Um, make sure to check out our coverage of RuPaul's Drag Race, All Stars, All Winners, Social Strategy, Boots the House Down, Eleganza, Extravaganza Race. Um aka race for the legendary legend star uh, legendary legend star da, 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 da. um thanks for joining us we'll be back in a couple of weeks to talk about the premiere of drag race france so cheers my love cheers au revoir french noises yes come on french noises